hello guys welcome back to my channel yes yes thank you guys for tuning in with me today i appreciate it today guys we are going to be making a nice homemade tuna milk where i'm from we have a restaurant called coney island most of them make some of the best tuna melts but i'm going to show you how you can make them yourself at home your own tuna melt easy not too long let's go ahead and get started now some of you want to use cans it depends on how many sandwiches you're going to make so i use four packs because i'm gonna make about three sandwiches four packs of tuna creations like i said you can use the can or you can use the packet and if it says water added you want to make sure you drain the water out so i use three herb and garlic and then i use two regular okay we're going to go ahead and get started you want to you don't want to do too much relish i'm going to show you what to do with that i have about a half a cup of mayo i cut up two green onions i have thick texas toast bread yes i like to get the unmillies texas toast when i'm making these and i have two slices of American cheese. You can use whichever cheese you like, whatever is gonna work for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, you wanna make sure no liquid is in your tuna fish coming from a can or packet, okay? Then you wanna go ahead and make sure you don't have no excess juice coming from your relish. I'll say about a good two teaspoons of relish for me. Get that mixed in. We're gonna go ahead and start putting your mayo in slowly though. You're gonna add it as needed, okay? You're gonna add the mayo as needed. So you wanna make sure, you to take a spatula, make sure you get it all mixed in. And the seasoning you can use is garlic, salt and pepper, or I like to sometimes put the garlic roasted herbs with everything in it from McCormick, okay? And I see now that I'm gonna use more. Now this is Miracle Whip, all kind of mayo out there. You can use Hellman's, Dukes, but today we're gonna to do the Miracle Whip. Go ahead and get that mixed up. Half a teaspoon, salt, pepper, and I'm gonna do these. I'll say one good teaspoon of my corner. Let's not forget to add in the green onion. Yes, I like the green or even red, but today we're gonna do the green. Smells amazing. Now you can taste as needed. Don't want to make it too salty. You add eggs, you can if you like. And this is how your tuna should look, okay? So, I have my butter over here melting. I put like three teaspoons of butter. You want to wait till that starts bubbling before you put your sandwich inside of the pan. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, when I put down the cheese, it actually helps form and hold the tuna so it won't seep through your bread. So the cheese kind of comes through the middle of the tuna sandwich you're about to create, okay? I'm gonna put that over there. I don't need to add no more butter. You can if you like, inside of your sandwich, but we have enough right here, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and start putting your tuna on top of the bread. Have my other cheese here. And this is how it should look before it goes in. You can even eat it like this, but we're gonna grill it today, guys. Okay, I'm gonna come back and show you. So once your butter is getting hot, you don't want it to get too burnt, you wanna take that and you're gonna wait till it gets bubbly around, get crispy, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna flip it. I'll be back. Okay, 
So I let it cook for maybe like three to four minutes until you're liking. You can add a little bit more butter so your brie won't stick. And that's how the crispy toast at the top should look like. Yeah. So we're gonna let this other side cook three to four minutes and I'm gonna come back and show you the finishing results. And we're gonna go ahead and take it out, okay? three to four minutes see how crispy the bread is you want to go ahead and take it out so three to four minutes on both sides look at that guys look at that turn this oven on and let's go ahead and cut it Hold on. get that crunch see that cheese good look at that yummy yummy delicious i want you guys to have a first look yes put it like that your family will love it okay guys i at least got a taste it for you guys come on in on it come on in mm, let's do it Mm. Yummy, yummy, good. Don't forget to share this video. Like, subscribe. I was about to say describe. Subscribe and share. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much and have a blessed day.